hi guys how have you been since our last one um it's been quite some time yeah i guess so um so today is monday and we are on day 12 of the 21 day challenge but i have like a lot of updates so let me first go um on to uh the the video for today there is so much noise in the background it's my neighbors in quarantine definitely so just bear with me and um yeah so activity number one the zero budget activity number one that you can do with your children at this time this is if your children are not um are a little bit younger say 10 and below is 10 to maybe 8 i don't know you can um model with mud so usually um we forgot all about it plasticine is our thing um but yeah do model with mud let your kids get dirty get dirty with them it's just pure bliss so activity number two you can crush you can collect flowers and crush them so some of these activities activities are going to be very practical and some are going to be just you know like yeah the uh, things you can do so collect flowers uh crush them and then your kids will be so excited to see like color coming out of plants so we did that with Dibal, it was fun, he enjoyed it. I'm sure you guys forgot about it. If you had a normal childhood, you must have done that. So collect flowers, red ones, green ones, purple ones, and then just have all those colors come together. So what we did with the, with the flowers that we crushed and the color that we made is we mixed it with white, um, white water paint that we had in the house. So that would give it a little bit of texture and then we made a painting uh where is it <laughs> we made like a painting with dibal um it's somewhere uh yeah and that was really really fun he enjoyed every bit of it uh and then what we also used was one of his old shirts one of his hard fabric white old shirts that he doesn't use it anymore so we used that as our canvas and that was very fun um one thing i realized uh tip is the the colors don't pop as much as when they are you know um when you crush them when you paint on, when you paint on something they tend to like fade so what you can do is if you have um if you have food color in the house you can definitely mix that up with food color and just have fun activity number three make stuff make stuff make stuff uh we are scheduled to make a plastic paper ball with the bow um we have already made um other things i'm going to show you one of the things that we got making here this one guys this is supposed to be a car if you know you know so my neighbor made this for his son and Dibal and they're really having fun just, you know, right, driving it around. Um, make dolls for the girls with uh, cloth and thread, just sew in. And um, yeah, make, what else can you make? Make cars with um, cardboard, you know, just think about anything that you think your, your baby will enjoy making or your children will enjoy making and make it make stuff make 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 stuff um teach your child activity number four is to teach your child how to make a new recipe and to actually make it with them uh, patiently because i feel like our kids cook most of the times with us when we are like making dinner or something and that is very we become very impatient so be intentional about cooking with them making something else other than cupcakes with them and yeah just let them have fun that is not exactly zero budget but let's just put it there then activity number um five is do house chores with your children like assign to them house chores they know like when we wake up this is for us to do 
you know we're just looking at activities to just make the day move by you know that keeps our kids engaged all through so that we don't have them going to play outside with other children why 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 are we doing that um yeah let's not do it so we have to totally keep them engaged let them do house chores don't let them just sit let them help with the house chores then uh when they like when they're washing utensils they can play with water let them play with water just make sure your the sink is full of plastics and things that can break then let them play i mean let their day just end um activity number six take walks there's a disclaimer here um you can only probably take walks if you don't live in a very populated area where you're sure when you go outside to walk you will be like a meter apart with other people or more so yeah do take walks it really helps we take walks in the evening with Dubai like about five and yeah it's 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 good for them because if they stay indoors the whole day then you know they need to breathe a little bit but please make sure that you're doing this if you don't live in a populated place then activity number seven of course um dramatically with drama read storybooks for your children um you know dramatize dramatize because we read normal normal but now we need to really entertain them just be very dramatic about it of course make sure that they are studying for a couple of hours or sometime every day uh, because they need to be doing that but read read with them let them play roles and just have fun then activity number eight you could exercise with your children um yeah if you're doing your exercise in the morning or whatever just let them join you and let them you know have fun learn the habit yeah so i'm not really exercising much but when i do a little bit even though it's like we are playing i do with i do it with a debal so activity number nine take drive um i i find i've been finding that a lot of parents have been so stranded because probably they can't now go to the malls or whatever like you know but if you can take drives not very far so that it's not again unsafe for you guys if you can take drives with your family just do that um as long as you don't get other people who are not of of your family on board you can take drives um if you live in a place that would allow you to sit down on the sorry on the grass for example and eat probably some snacks that you had carried do that do that do that it just helps to to ease to cut the monotony of just being indoors for the kids so um then um activity number 11 uh let your kids stay longer in the bath basin so if you bath your children um you can let them stay in the water like 10 minutes playing or something before you come and bath them that just gives them more time to just be there and you can do something you can do a quick one you can probably clean the dishes in 10 minutes or something then bonus tip number 11 which i think is the most important is teach your children how to nap in the afternoon oh my god i cannot even emphasize enough the importance of teaching your children how to sleep in the afternoon because it really helps to keep you sober uh train them train them train them how to sleep even though if they don't sleep don't say oh um my kids don't sleep in the afternoon train them train them it will give you some time to breathe to rest to you know just think before you also you know um really really that is very important if you haven't watched the video that i did on our routine please do that i found that um using a routine um and like a schedule like a timetable sort of thing uh in this time really helps to just put things in order so on to the updates <sighs> you guys i know i'm doing a 10 day challenge a 21 day challenge or where i started off with almost no food in the house and 150 shillings only and you guys 
we made it to that budget and that amount of food up to the eighth day but you know that things are really changing really really fast and i'm a mom so i have to also make decisions that are sober as much as i really wanted to do the 21 days challenge to see how much would the food last us you guys i um i, I learned a lot i learned a lot during that time and unfortunately i had to for, unfortunately should i even say that no i had to get some food in the house because you know that the markets are closing there is curfews now um you know a lot of things have changed and especially the markets closing um that was big for me because i thought oh maybe the food is going to become very expensive or something so i had to go out and buy some food so right now i have in food that would last about more a little more than a month or or so uh and why it would actually even last a little it would last more than a month or close to two is because of the things i have learned during the time when i was doing that challenge like i've learned how to really be innovative and creative when making food and how to save up on stuff um yeah and it, it, it was totally worth it every bit now I hope that you guys understand do you <laughs> I know you do so I'll keep you updated on stuff um, yeah we have food now just because things have really really changed quickly so we need to also be ready the risk of infection the, the, the numbers of infected people is rising but you guys don't be scared please 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 if you can do something don't be scared about anything just be be easy keep safe and be easy yeah then you guys on to the weight loss thing that I was doing so I was doing a water fast for 21 days that was part of the challenge hmm 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 on Thursday is it thursday i guess you guys i was feeling so so weak i was like i was like day eight or something i was almost falling down okay like i was feeling merry go rounds you know what i mean yeah so um i i was feeling very weak and i really took time to rethink the whole challenge thing so um, the water fast was great by that time I lost like I think a kg and something I think because I, I would check I would like my loose clothes my clothes that don't stretch and I wear them and they're loose I was so excited but I decided or I thought I reconsidered and, and realized that I think water fast are for people who have like zero minimal to zero activity because I, I realize it's becoming very hard for me because I'm running up and down doing all the house chores playing with Dibal sometimes he he wants to take a walk and I'm feeling like really weak so yeah I rethought and I decided that I'll be taking a little food every day and uh, also bone, bone broth which I bought and I think that should help um, but I, I need to be very intentional about this weight loss thing then since I became like easy on myself I feel like I've gained all that weight that I had lost like uh. anyway guys that's the update um yeah we're going to keep doing this up to 21 days and then we're going to see what did we achieve what did we not achieve the book i'm still writing the book um yeah that's what's up guys um i'll see you very very soon um take care of yourselves um wash 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 your hands and pray wash and pray and um yeah take care much love and god bless Bye. <laughs>